guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Monday, January the 4th, 2021. Welcome to another eBay video. Today I'm going to be discussing the USPS claim that I submitted a few weeks ago. I'm going to tell you about the outcome and I'm going to go over the correct procedure for you guys to follow if one of your items is damaged in shipment. So listen carefully. And please note, once again, it's cloudy and nasty. We cannot get a single sunny day, bar none. And there are none scheduled this week at all. It's pitiful. It's disgusting. And if any of you guys had to wake up to cloudy days every single day, you'd be bummed out too. So yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I told you guys that one of my eBay buyers received an item that was damaged from me. The box was very badly crushed and the USPS even attached a sticker to it saying that they crushed the box and that they were apologizing. But the apology doesn't carry much weight with the customer because they wanted their money back. Now the customer could have pursued this themselves and gone to their local post office and filed a claim. But as you probably know, buyers do not want to do any extra lead work whatsoever. So I can kind of understand his feeling. I told him to send the item back to me and that I would pursue the claim on my own. The buyer sent the item back to me and I gave him a refund through eBay with original shipping. Now, I have possession of the broken box and damaged item, so I went to my local post office and I showed the postmaster. She then got me two claim forms. One I filled out myself and the second one she filled out. She also filled out something on the bottom of my claim form and she stamped it and signed it. I then had to surrender the damaged item and box to the post office because they're going to retain that. At that point, I went home with the two claim forms, I scanned them in, and I uploaded them to the USPS website because you must file the claim through their website. This is a bit of a tedious procedure, but you must do it that way if you want to be reimbursed. I uploaded pictures of the two scanned claim forms that I told you about as well as pictures of the damaged box with the USPS sticker attached to it. I submitted the claim form and I received a confirmation email from the USPS saying they would investigate. That was over a week ago. Today, as I said, is January the 4th and I received two communications today from the post office. One saying that they have received the claim form and they have agreed to reimburse me and that a check would be forthcoming. And the second envelope was the actual check itself. So my claim has been resolved in a satisfactory manner. I am very satisfied that the USPS stepped up and paid my claim. What makes this a little bit different than most is that they attach that sticker to the box admitting that they, in fact, damaged my box. I have never seen this happen before in my 21 years selling on eBay. I have seen examples of customers getting damaged boxes, but I've never seen them actually affix that sticker to it. So in that respect, I was very lucky, and that's one of the reasons that I think helped my claim sail right through. A second reason that I think helped is that I am well known in my local post office since I ship every day and I imagine you guys are well known in your local post office. So the postmaster probably knows you guys as serious honest shippers who would not submit a, fr a frivolous claim. So that always helps. So that's basically what I wanted to tell you guys today how to submit a successful claim to the USPS. This is really my first time ever having to do it in my 21 year eBay career. Once I submitted a claim with UPS, 
because I shipped it right through the UPS store, and that, of course, went right through. And I've never had to do it with FedEx yet, knock wood. We'll see how that goes. I'm thinking about making at least one more video this week before Friday night. I'm thinking about making a life story video in my life story series. I have several topics in mind. So yeah, I had hoped to go out yesterday to do an exploration video, but it ain't gonna happen because it rained yesterday. Man, I wish we could get one fully sunny day. Pathetic. Guys, I'm Crazy New York Driver and you're not. Thank you for watching my video. I sure hope that this USPS claim video has helped you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, type them in the comment box below. Remember, I'm Crazy New York Driver, you're not. Rock on and peace!